हेलो माय नेम इज डॉक्टर दीपक केड़कर आई एम ए साइकियाट्रिस्ट हिप्नोथेरेपिस्ट डी एडिक्शन स्पेशलिस्ट एंड सेक्सोलॉजिस्ट प्रैक्टिसिंग इन इंडिया महाराष्ट्र अकोला सिटी वी हैव टू हॉस्पिटल्स हियर वेर वी एडमिट मेंटल पेशेंट्स विद रिलेटिव्स एंड अदर हॉस्पिटल वेर वी एडमिट मेंटल पेशेंट्स विदाउट रिलेटिव सो ऑल्सो वी हैव गॉट स्पेशल फैसिलिटी फॉर ट्रीटिंग एडिक्शन प्रॉब्लम्स इन पेशेंट्स today i am going to talk to you about a cancerous psychological illness which is called as schizophrenia schizophrenia is a mental illness where there are differences like there is a split in thoughts and emotions split in thoughts emotions behavior perception like it is split it is not consistently seen you know One in one hundred people they suffer from schizophrenia, and it is said that around fifty to sixty lakhs, or about seventy lakhs people are there who are suffering from schizophrenia in India, and around twenty-six million people suffer from schizophrenia in the world. Those who are suffering from schizophrenia, they are unproductive, they don't work, they are actually like sitting at home, not doing anything, and they are disturbed at home, you know. so they will uh, they will interfere in others activities and they have got lot many symptoms which are problematic to them and problematic to others in the house symptoms like they have got thought disorder like specific delusions delusions like some people are against them some people are talking about them some people are watching them or people are poisoning them or the person may be suspicious about his wife's character or the lady may be suspicious about his husband's character and he thinks that people are plotting against him they are making plans to kill him and something is going on all over against him so it's a fixed delusion then there are perceptual problems where he thinks that you know like not thinks he he like actually listens voices in his ears like some people are coming to meet him some some people are talking about him he thinks that you know in radio on television you know everywhere people are talking about him and he listens those voices he thinks that neighbors they talk about him and he listens those voices then he thinks that like insects are crawling under his skin or on the skin then he has got taste problem like somebody is poisoning him or he sees some pictures in front of his eyes so all five senses they are disturbed in some they are the other then they have got mood problems the mood is apathetic neither he is sad nor happy nor excited but he he may become violent he may become violent if something goes against him or he, he, he like he is listening some voices or because of thought disorders he may become violent he may think that people are against him and he may become violent and start beating people so he is not doing anything he cannot work actively the person may be talking to self laughing to self making gestures and like he is like he doesn't take care of himself he doesn't take bath he is unkempt all his belongings are shabbily you know spread everywhere in the house and he doesn't know that he is ill this illness can be fully treated completely treated the thing is people don't diagnose this condition in the early stage because they think that it is normal he is moody and he'll be all right but if it is diagnosed in the early stages If the people bring this patient to psychiatrist in the early stages, then uh, like good cure can be obtained. But by the time they come to the psychiatrist, it takes a long time, and then the person becomes chronically ill. If the symptoms are there for more than one month, then you can say the person is suffering from schizophrenia. If the symptoms are less than one month, then it's a acute psychosis. Now the person may become violent; he may start beating people. or if he is listening voices or he thinks that the people are against him he may run out of the house he may go in jungles he starts running around and he may commit suicide because he is afraid that somebody is going to kill him so better he commit suicide so he gets a thought that he should commit suicide and he commits a suicide you know so like he is like then he is injurious to self or he may be injurious to others we can treat these patients there are medicines now it is proved that there is a chemical imbalance in the brain and due to chemical imbalance there is a dopamine hypothesis 
either the receptors are excessively sensitive to dopamine or there is a hyper dopaminergic state. So now with medicines we can reduce that concentration of dopamine in the brain and patient can be brought to normalcy. The patient is very violent, uncontrollable, then we have to at times tie the patient, give him very heavy doses, hospitalize him and still if he is under, not under control then at times we have to give electric shock treatment. See people in our areas they think that it is you no know, like witchcraft or somebody has done some uh, witchcraft on him or somebody doing something on him that is why he has become like that. So they don't think there is a psychiatric illness. They go to temples or dargahs or sambhava and they go on taking treatment from these faith healers. It is necessary that the patient should be brought as soon as possible to psychiatrist. Our mission is addiction free India and mental health for everyone. So spread this video to as many people as possible so that they take proper treatment, they go to psychiatrist and take proper treatment and cure the patient. The treatment lasts for a long time, maybe a year or so, maybe like more than a year and he can be maintained on medicines and he can be alright. But if the treatment is not given properly, the patient is not, like if the treatment is not in the right time, then he may not recover at all. So please recommend this video to as many people as possible and support our mission of mental health for everyone and addiction for India. Thank you very much.